Well, hello there, friends and family. And here we are. It's the day before, the day before Christmas. And like I told y'all in a previous video, I got my daughter Ashley, my grandson Davey coming by. Now they were delayed a day. This was Monday. They were supposed to be here yesterday. But we had a lot of severe storms over the last two days and a whole lot of rain. So for safety, I had them delay it today. And they're on the road now. But that just means I got to head over to my locally owned superfoods. You know, my favorite grocery store. Those of you who have followed me, you've been there many times. But as is the case now, we're sitting in the focus. And the drama all starts with it. So, we're going to see if it's going to start this morning. Let's give it a try. And here we go. And by golly, Miss Molly fired right up. <laughs> that makes me cry. And I'll have to say thank you to someone up in the heavens above for helping me out on this. But let me throw y'all up on the dash. Let's head on over to Superfoods. Turn that fan down some, so maybe y'all can hear me. And there's a bunch of leaves on the car. And still spitting rain. But that's okay. We don't mind. It could always be snow, like some of y'all are having around the country today. There's the UPS man. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. I didn't see you. Mr. Himes? Yeah, that's me. All right. Thank you, sir. You have a Merry Christmas. You do the same. And we got another box from Amazon. Now, I'm going to tell you what. Now, that's some personalized service. The UPS man came all the way out here in his own personal vehicle just to deliver Mr. Tom a package. If I had to guess, that package may be for Davy too. I was waiting on something that they said might not get here till the day before, the day before, or the day right before Christmas. Let's head on over to Super Foods. If I can keep y'all up on the dash, that's always a challenge. One day, I'll get me one of them uh, dash mounts or windshield mounts. You know, all in good time, folks. You can only do what you can do with.
hope those uh, windshield wipers aren't annoying y'all so much. You know, with it this dark and gloomy, and it's only 11 a.m., I think. Being retired, don't hardly go by time much anymore. not going to be a long drive today, but if y'all are good, when I put you in the buggy, and you are quiet, behave yourselves, I might just take the back way home, which will take us through the countryside. That way you can see what the deep south looks like this time of year. Pretty much right now. It's just downright gloomy. But I ain't gonna let nothing get me down today. I got my daughter and my grandson coming. Talked to my son for about an hour today. So I'm feeling good. My body might not be feeling as great as I could wish for, but it's all about getting old bones you know your bones they just don't like cold wet weather as much as they used to at least mine don't it don't take long to get up here to superfoods I think it's only about two and a half miles from the house might not even be that far I was hoping this rain would get pushed on out of here yesterday afternoon or evening. And maybe it will today. That's not looking like it. So, we've had three days of pretty much constant rain. Well, it's been raining since early evening Saturday. And here we are. We're at Superfood. We're going to run in, pick up some special treats for Davy and Ashley. Things to make the holidays special. Of course, I'm sure she'll want to do some baking. And some other things, of course. There's not that many here today. And that's a good thing. Everybody won't think Mr. Tom done lost his mind. Talking into this little box where all of you are. So let's head on in and see what we can see. Stay with me. And remember, behave yourselves in the buggy. No, don't got nothing interesting over here at Krispy Kreme. Now remember, be quiet. But we got to get some bread. Because we're going to be making some homemade stuff. Let's head on around here. How you doing today, ma'am? Oh, pretty good. They're all out of Wonder Bread. <laughs> this is Wonder Bread, Texas Toast. Yeah, it's Texas Toast. Sorry. Well, we'll have to go to our fallback. Yep. Nature's own. Thank you, ma'am. Well, they were all out of my favorite bread. Still got bananas here, 35 cents a pound. I don't think that ever changes. Yeah. 
We got tomatoes here. Product of good old USA. Dollar forty nine pound. And then we got the Romans here. For a dollar sixteen. How you doing today? Right. How you doing? Pretty good. Hope good. you have a Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. How about you? I'm gonna try. Oh, that was a manager of soup food. Fantastic guy. And we're gonna get some of these little tomatoes already wrapped up here. There's a young lady on YouTube. Her uh, YouTube channel name is B. Dot Honey. And she works a lot of times over in the produce department of the IGA up in uh, North Carolina. She also works in the meat department sometimes. But if you run up there and check out her channel, like I say, that's B. Dot Honey. Now I'll put a link below. She can whip through packaging up some vegetables and some fruits. Just downright amazes me. And she does it so cheerfully too. Check her out if you got the time. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Got our sweet taters over here, 69 cents a pound from Mississippi. Can't beat that. Hello. How you doing today, ma'am? Good, how are you? Pretty good. That's good. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. You too. Gotta to pick up some celery here. Family stuffing, $1.19. Check out these potatoes. Got two for four dollars. Four pound bag. Then we got over here Idaho's for two forty four. A five pound bag. Or you can come on over here to the other side. And we got the red potatoes here. Five pound bag, 379. And one of the reasons they're so much higher is they really didn't have a good crop this year, especially up in the Red River Valley, where the majority of red potatoes are grown. And they still got the butter gold for 279 for a five pound bag. Baby Reds, 293, three pound bag. Or you can go over here and get these Dole Russet potatoes, eight pound bags, two for six dollars. You know, I'm not sure if that's good or if that's bad. We're gonna head on over here. I picked up some apples last week, but I wanted to pick up some oranges. Now, why oranges? Well, because back when I was a little boy, we didn't have all this fruit and vegetables at the commissary or local grocery stores all throughout the year like we do now. It only came after harvest and when it was in season. So apples and oranges were always a big treat for Christmas. I think I'll get some clementines if they got them. I know my daughter Ashley and my grandson, they really do love those things. Of course, Davy calls them baby oranges. And they got a three pound bag here, 482. They're a little high, but ain't like I buy them every day. It's Christmas.
Four broccoli heads. Cut them for $1.68 each. Green giant. Looks pretty good. And we still got some okra. Of course, it's from Honduras. $2.99 a pound. Of course, asparagus. $3.61 a pound. Or, you can get some very small avocados, but they are firm from Mexico for 56 cents an each, each. Now they got a ticket on in there, sticker, it says from Mexico. But the label there says from Peru. I'm believing they're from Mexico, 56 cents each. <laughs> of course you can get you some zucchini here for $1.59 a pound. Or some yellow crook neck squash. Ooh. I may think about doing me some uh, squash casserole. $20.29. Something I wanted to get was some more green onions. I guess I have to just go out to the raised bed. Of course, got green beans here, fresh ones. Product of the USA. $2.59 a pound for all those people who just love that green bean casserole. Corn just got outrageous. There's seven ears and they're small. $7.63. They don't even put the price per pound anymore. Ain't no way I'm buying corn on the cob. Coarse carrots, one pound, 70 cents. Now here you got chopped turnip greens. They're high too. 346 for a two pound bag. But at least they're a product of the USA. And then we got cabbage, 51 cents a pound. We'll go over and check the onions. No, oh, something I gotta get for David. Cause he just loves these things. And I love them too. And that's your little Debbie. Oatmeal cream pies. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I know. It's processed. But I don't buy them all every week. And he just gets them when he comes to Grandpa. Now, we got these here sweet onions all the way down from Peru. $3.99 for a five pound bag. Now I can tell you, they smell nice and fresh. Of course, regular yellow onions Three pound bag for just a dollar fifty-three. And I'm stocked up on onions. And as always, plenty of that world famous. Neck sausage made right here in Alabama. Now, I do believe you can get it on Amazon, but if you can, you should try it one time.
And of course, Davy loves bacon. So I'm gonna pick up some bacon. I got my favorite brand here. It's that hotel brand from Sunnyland. 321 for 12 ounces. Not the best price. I mean, I can remember just a month or so back, it was 251 for 12 ounces. Yeah, we're going to head on down. Well, we got plenty of beans there. Beans and rice. Don't need any of that. But let's just check some prices here. We got the Mahatka, Mahatma brand. Extra long and rich rice. Dollar oh seven a pound. Of course, you can go down here and get the store brand. Sure, fine. One pound for fifty-five cents. Got navy beans for sixty-nine cents. Got black eyes over here. Don't see a price. But as you can see, they got plenty of beans. Or you can get your black eyed peas for New Year's Day for $1.23 for 12 ounces. Well, I do believe shrinkflation has hit the black eyed bee bag. The Sure Fine brand is still one pound. I'm sure it'll be cheaper. But I have some. <laughs> this ain't about so much about comparing prices. I just thought along the way I'd do a little bit of that too. I know y'all are interested. And yeah, I gotta get some things. Like beanie weenies. Davy likes them too. And I will admit, I like them. So we'll pick up four cans. And then we got the Chef Boy RD. And the canned meat section. Well, we've got Spam for 283 for Spam Light. 25% less sodium is 283. And the original classic, $3.11. Hmm. Or one of my favorites, oven roasted turkey. $3.11. But I'm gonna tell you a little secret right here this brian luncheon meat for 225 and don't y'all be buying it all up once i tell you about it this is the flavor of the south made right here in alabama and this is good stuff no doubt plus trixie loves it and I'm sure Cleo does too. We'll get two cans. I got plenty of those juice drinks for Davy. Got plenty of mayonnaise. Of course, this is Sawyer's. I personally wouldn't have it. It's got to be Duke's, remember? Let's go over here to the coffee. Now you'll see this in my kitchen. This is Wright's Mill. And it is 289, no, 
281. And I'm not sure how much is in here. There's 11 ounces. I really enjoy this coffee. It has a mild flavor. But that being said, it's also has a robustness in the flavor. It's just hard to describe. It's made by Red Diamond. Yep. Another true Southern company. Now that's something I believe in, folks. I believe in buying American, keeping Americans working, but I also believe in buying regionally and locally. You see, China don't care about us, and they don't care if anybody in America works anymore. We gotta start caring about ourselves. And of course, we gotta get some cookies for Davy. I'm wondering what kind. Now he's got several favorites. I just never know. I know Ashley likes these Nutter Butters, too. I think Davey does. We're going to go with a package of them. And, of course, I do know one of Davey's favorites. And that's an Oreo. 305. For 14.3 ounces. Now, I don't go with the double stuff. I go with the classics. I know I'm going to regret this bill when I get to the. Oh, we gotta get something else. Yep, canned cheese. I know I catch crap for this, but I love it. So is David. And it's the holiday. We don't need any soups. Now something I will be doing either right before this year ends or beginning of 2020 I want to do a complete price check. Because like I say if you've been watching my videos on food I've documented a lot of prices which I have seen go up over the course of 2019 and I know they'll be going up further in 2020 I'm going to pick up a little bit of hamburger because I know we'll be having tacos one night and this is a 73% lean 27 fat 223 a pound it's went up Those ribeyes getting pricey, 1250. I remember a couple months back when they were 1050. Of course, we got new New York strip steaks, nine dollars a pound. Oh, we still got our favorite. One of our favorite cuts of meat. T-bones, $8 pan. I don't see no chuck eyes. No chuck roast getting pricey. Four ninety-eight a pan. But then we probably gonna be eating a lot more chicken, all of us, come 2020. They got the whole fryers here, $1.65 a pan. Of course, we could get drumsticks for a dollar a pound. 
wings, 220 a pound. Or we could get chicken thighs for a dollar a pound. I got chicken though. We're going to head down here to the pet food aisle because as you all know, I got to get Trixie something or I won't hear the end of it. Yeah, I know. She's got all kinds of food. And yep, she's spoiled. And she like lost her mind today when I split a can of her favorite pate cat food with Cleo. I thought World War III had erupted in, in the cat king. But we got to get something for her. And Trixie, she likes this turkey and giblets dinner from Frisky's, which was one of the cans that I split with her and Cleo. And then all hell broke loose. So I better get it replaced. We'll pick up four. We'll pick up four cans there as a piece offering. This is only 62 cents. So maybe Trixie will forgive me. We can hope. And of course, gotta get some Coca Cola. That's what Ashley drinks. Well, we'll head up the baking and spices and cooking oil aisle here. Which currently don't need any of this. But while we're cruising through, take a look at some prices here. See where this sugar's going. Go down here and look at this domino. Cause that is pure cane sugar. I'm sure y'all remember that. And what do we got? We got a four pound bag. The 216. And the 10 pounds. 523. Now if you go over here to the regular sugar, that's 586 for 10 pounds, which is actually more than 10 pounds of pure cane. I don't understand the price in there, but I'm not going to say nothing. Maybe they won't watch this video and figure it out either. I do gotta get one of these here aluminum pans. Cause I'm not gonna clean up a roaster. But since we've decided to have a Cornish game hens for our Christmas dinner, I don't need a real big one. I just need a little one. These work just fine. So back in the buggy I'll go. I don't need no flour. They got plenty of it. Y'all keep an eye out for those Cornish game hands. And I think we're good on the milk, at least for a little bit. But I do got to get something special. 
Ashley loves her eggnog this time of year. And this Barber's eggnog, that's what she loves. I'm gonna get her some eggnog. Got plenty of turkeys. Let's see. Dollar twenty-five a pound. Hmm. That was high. They were high for Thanksgiving too. Remember? And of course, hams are real popular in the South. As you can see, this is their second place they got loaded up with hams. And here they got the buck portion ham, $1.48 a pound. Or you can get those spiral slice, $2.65. I believe those come from Smithfield. Yep, Smithfield. I don't buy Smithfield no more. Not since China bought them. I'm sorry, Smithfield. And the eggs have really went up here recently. Got large eggs for $1.80 or a dozen. And Slap out the medium. They were dollar oh nine. Brown eggs, dollar sixty. I got eggs covered though. Another thing I gotta get. That my baby girl, Ashley, loves, she gets it from her daddy. And that's, of course, Fritos brand bean dip. It ain't near as good as mine. It's not near as good as mine, but Ashley enjoys it. Already got the Fritos. I bought them a few days back. Don't need much cheese. Got that covered. I think I got sour cream. Still looking for those Cornish game hands. I may have to make a run to Walmart. They may not have I'll get some hot pockets because I know Ashley and Davy they like them too. It's just something quick to fix. Well, you get two packs. For two twenty. I think I'll try these Italian stuff. Meatballs and mozzarella. They don't buy much of this uh frozen food. But here again. 
This is the holiday. And I found them. Cornish game hens over here in the way. All covered up with frost too. That's 386 a piece. 24 ounces. That's what they wanted. So let me get some of these. Put y'all back in the buggy. Buggy was all covered up where y'all sit. Now my son James, when I was talking to him today, he didn't know whether he'd be able to make it over for Christmas dinner. But you know what? Since I hope he does, I picked him up a game hen too. That way there'll be one there waiting on him. If he can make it. I understand. He's got a business to run. I've been there, done that before too. Well, I pretty much got everything I need. So I'm going to turn y'all off. Go get her checked out. And head her on back to the house. And I do appreciate y'all staying quiet and behaving yourself today. I might pick you up an ice cream on the way home. So y'all, there you have it. Uh, another little shopping excursion at our locally owned superfoods on the day before, the day before Christmas. And I wanted to pick up some special things, like I said, for Davy. But along the way, we did check some prices out. But I will be doing a more thorough job of that either here after Christmas or the first week of 2020. Now we got to take her on back to the house. I just got a call from Ashley. She's all the way on the other side of town at her neighborhood Walmart, which she said was a madhouse, which I'm sure it is. That's why I didn't go even think about going there. But I'm going to throw y'all up on the dash once we get out of the parking lot here. And Get on back to the house. So, since y'all were good, we're going to take the long way back. For those of you who enjoy a ride in the countryside. And for those of you who don't, still give us a thumbs up here. And you can end your viewing right now. I totally understand. This is for those who love riding along through the countryside in my little piece of paradise in the deep south of Alabama. y'all don't mind but I'm just going to rest a little 
and relax and enjoy the ride along with you. Now there's a bottle of water in the back. Can't offer y'all a snack, but I can offer you some scenery and an enjoyable ride in the countryside. Plus, if you want, we'll talk off camera between all of us. Of course, you won't be able to hear it on camera. truck get on out ahead of us sort of takes away all the reason I wanted to come the back way was to share a nice peaceful ride with all of y'all oh got some nice greens in that garden there off to the right oh he got two big uh, patches of greens I wish it could have been a better day to take y'all for a ride but the way I look at it is any ride you can take through the countryside is better than any day you can be cooped up in the house or working
Well, y'all, if you could see, I'll probably edit a lot of that out. I took that curve a little bit fast. I was daydreaming. And with that, y'all slid all the way across the dash, fell off in the floor. I hope none of y'all got hurt. I really didn't mean to, and I do apologize. But we'll get you set back up there. I'll try to pay better attention. I just sort of let my mind drift off, thinking about the holidays. On better thought, I think I'll just hold you here. We're not all that far from the house. Mm, maybe half a mile. So just to protect you for your own safety, I'm going to hold you here. That way, nothing can happen to you. I'd hate to see any of you get hurt this close to Christmas. We're going in the back way, like I said. This is the road back behind the cemetery where, unfortunately, most people come to drop off animals they don't want anymore. They come right around here, stop, because ain't nobody back here at night, and they just throw them out. If I had to guess, that's what happened to little Cleo and her sister Samantha. Yep. Some unkind person came around here, tossed them out. I guess I can't understand people like that. But, but, on the upswing, now they're with me. They'll want for nothing, of course. Got to get Cleo over to the bed. Have that rough place on her skin checked out. A lot of y'all suggested it could probably be flea dermatitis. And I'm hoping that's what it is. But I'm still going to take the little girl to the bed. Just like I would any of my children. My own claim to be a vet. And of course, I did do a lot of veterinarian work. When I was running the farms, you just got to. And here we are at the old home place. Well, friends and family, there you have it. Quick run to Superfoods, pick up all the favorites. My daughter Ashley and Davey, and hopefully James. And for those of you who enjoyed it, took you for a ride back way through the countryside. And I do apologize. And I do apologize. It was still mist and rain, and the windshield wipers were probably bothering y'all some. And it wasn't too sunny. It's deeply overcast. But it's still better than being at work or shut up in the house. Well, y'all, you know, as always, until I see you on the next video, I do hope you're enjoying your holidays with your friends, your families. And I really want to wish y'all a very Merry Christmas and a joyous, joy-filled holiday season. And that may be Hanukkah for you. Or it could be Kwanzaa. Or some other version of it. To me, it doesn't matter. Because that's what's great about America. We have the freedom to choose. And that's what makes America strong. And I do want y'all to have a glorious and blessed Happy New Year. With that, I got a whole load full of groceries to get on out of here. And I'm sure Trixie will be waiting at the door. Later, all. 
Oh, Trix. You're outside. Yes, I did get you something. You know I try not to forget you. Yep, it's in the bags. Come on over here and grab a bag. Help me tote them in the house. Come on over. Are you going to help Papa with the groceries? Now I got you some snacks. So you better be helping out. They're still over there. Oh yeah, I see. Well, there comes Ashley and Davy. We made it just in time. Come on. Yeah, just run on in the house. Where's my Davy? Hey there. Davy! Hi! Hi, what's up little buddy? I'm doing good. Hey, you gonna grab some of those groceries there and let's get them in the house? Okay. Appreciate it. There's some Cokes in the back seat, Davey. Uh, with that bag, honey, you gotta put the bag in the house first. Oh, come on. Davey, come on. Grandpa will get them. Go on in, y'all. Oh, Wipe your feet a little bit. Grandpa clean. That may be hard to believe. Oh my, I got all my YouTube folks with me. Kick on some lights here. You were no help at all, Trix. Yeah, your stuff's in there. But now you made me mad. You didn't help out a bit. Later on.